Uh, this tutorial will demonstrate how to use uh, how to perform sensitivity analysis using Monte Carlo simulation. The assumptions are the same as in the, uh, the first part of the tutorial. Uh, for five years we have projected sales and cost of goods and services. So we would like to calculate the net present value of uh, net profit, uh, the cash flow based on net profit. Um, uh, however, we recognize that the economic conditions might impact the level of sales and operation efficiency might impact costs of goods and services. Now the question is, uh, what happens to the net present value which we want to calculate uh, if we don't know precisely uh, what the economic conditions and operation efficiency are going to be. Uh, now this is a hypothetical scenario to demonstrate how uh, two random variables may impact uh, the calculation of uh, net present value in our case. Uh, we specify economic conditions but they are minimum and maximum because it's fairly easy uh, and it specifically it is applicable if we assume that they have a normal distribution. Now for the purpose of the simulation we assume that those variables follow normal distributions but other distributions can be modeled too um, and uh, from a purely practical perspective it's easier to uh, specify distribution by its minimum and maximum because if you are collecting data uh, if, if, if you needed input for your model let's say from uh, for a real projects from decision maker and managers they are much more uh, likely to tell you uh, uh, the minimum and the maximum of uh, their expectations, the, the mean and standard deviation of their expectations. So it, it's a purely practical approach to uh, define uh, the minimum and the maximum for these two variables. Uh, <coughs> because uh, our model includes, uh, will uh, calculate sales by, by multiplying uh, sales by the expected economy distribution and uh, will obtain uh, the cost of goods and services by dividing the projected cost of goods and services by uh, operation efficiency. But before that we need to obtain those numbers which we, look, which we will use in the calculation of net present value. First we need to reconstruct normal distributions and the mean of the normal distribution would be equal to the upper limit minus half of the range because the uh, normal distribution is symmetrical. And the standard deviation, if we use the plus minus 3 standard deviation rule corresponding to more than 99% under, under the normal curve, uh, if we use that rule, uh, that would indicate that the standard deviation would be equal to one sixth of the range, which will be actually uh, corresponds to plus minus 3 standard deviations. So the uh, economic conditions. Um, have uh, if the distribution is normal and if this is the range uh, the corresponding normal distribution is 1.15 and 0.12 now we need a value uh, we need a method to generate random uh, values belonging to the distribution of economic conditions uh, excel provides a neat function for that which is called norm.inv and this function generates, if we know uh, a corresponding probability, which in our case will be based on random, the random function. And if we know the mean and the standard deviation, this function will generate random, va uh, random uh, values belonging to that normal distribution here. So the, by pressing F9 or making any change so anywhere in the Excel spreadsheet I can generate random values belonging to economic conditions. Similarly for uh, operation efficiency. Now these will be used as input for our calculation to calculate net present value. So our sales will be equal to the projected sales times uh, economic conditions. Again this is how I chose to model this scenario uh, but your model may be, could be slightly different or completely different okay 
and the net present value would be equal to sales minus costs of goods and services net present value would be equal to net present value based on the specified rate of return for the expected cash flow from net profit now every time when i press f9 i generate new random economic conditions and new random operation efficiency which belong to the uh, distributions we specified and we are able to calculate the net present value belonging to economic conditions um, the net present value as function of economic conditions and uh, operation efficiency now uh, please recognize that these are the only two degrees of freedom in our uh, model we change only these two parameters your model might possibly include more than uh, more than uh, two parameters uh, the objective here is only to demonstrate how uh, Monte Carlo uh, works now we are able to generate random values uh, this was the first step uh, the second step is actually generating uh, a good number of uh, cases uh, in our case we would like to generate uh, 1000 uh, net present values actually we will generate 1000 economic conditions 1000 random operation efficiencies and for those 1000 we will calculate uh, 1000 net present values then we'll summarize uh, the distribution of uh, the randomly generated net present values and see how it behaves uh, so now moving actually to the Monte Carlo simulation in this section uh, we are going to generate 1000 cases they can go up to usually it's recommended to go 5000 sometimes even you can go to 10,000 but I'll use 1000 for simplicity Okay, now we have 1000 cases because we need to generate 1000 economy conditions and 1000 operation efficiencies and there, then calculate the corresponding net present value for those. Uh, I'll apply the uh, data table function again uh, for those 1000 because I want to calculate them at once. So. Uh, we need uh, to tell Excel that uh, for economic conditions it needs to change this formula for operation efficiency it needs to change that formula and for net present value it needs to use the net present value formula now we need to generate 1000 of those and uh, we need to select the block where all the new calculations will be applied and then uh, call the table function uh, now, now uh, the table function wants to know uh, what will be changing the formula to calculate uh, uh, new values for every row uh, actually we want to change nothing in our formulas we want only the randomness to change and randomness will change when Excel moves from row to row we do not have an explicit parameter that we want it to see changed therefore we're gonna trick if you want Excel a little bit and tell it change nothing uh, and as Excel changes this cell which is nothing it will go from row to row uh, but uh, actually uh, in, in every new row the random function will generate new values so there will be some change click OK and this is uh, the newly generated uh, thousand uh, operation efficiencies uh, and economic conditions and uh, newly generated uh, calculated net present values I'm applying conditional formatting here for easy readability uh, now th these are our newly generated net present values 1000 of them and strictly speaking we are we are almost done with the, our Monte Carlo simulation now uh, we calculated 1000 net present values as a function of uh, 1000 economic conditions and operation efficiencies belonging to their distribution now the question is uh, how can we summarize those values in a meaningful sense uh, so the next step would be summarization of the newly calculated uh, net present values first for easy uh, op uh, to make it a little easier uh, to write formulas I'm gonna name the newly calculated 1000 values uh, 
an NPV values NPV random. In other words, I give a name to this selection, which I'll use later in formulas. Uh, so this one, the selection of the 1,000 NPV values will go NPV random. And uh, if I would like to examine, uh, let's say the mini the maximum, the minimum, the average. Um, and the standard deviation of the newly generated 1000 NPV values. Uh, I do it in the following way. Now type NPV and we see our newly generated selection here. So no need to type sales. Uh, just the name of the selection. So this is the minimum and the maximum of uh, the simulated net present values. And as I press F9 and generate, uh, and every F9 generates new 1000 observations, uh, we see that the minimum, the maximum, mean and standard deviation are fairly stable. If I had more than 1000, let's say 5000, those will be almost constant. So pretty much it will freeze. Uh, uh, many of many of those values. So this is a summary. Let's say this code. This is a summary of uh, the net present value distribution. I'm gonna select this for is it readability. Now the question is, we have all 1,000 values calculated. What is the chances that we lose money? We see that every time we calculate. Uh, recalculate the 1000 observations of NPV. Some of them are positive, some of them are negative. Uh, to calculate the probability of losing money, simply we need to calculate the ratio of the negative occurrences to the ratio of all occurrences. So our probability to lose would be equal to count if. So we in count if we're going to count only the positive uh, values in the NPV random selection. So we tell Excel to count only the negative values and then <coughs> divide by the total number of values, which is 1000 in our observation, but I'm still going to use the count function. And uh, actually, uh, with those parameters, pre-specified param parameters, the chances of actually losing money is, uh, the chance of actually losing money is only one and a half percent. About point, about ranging between a little bit less than one percent to, uh, I think, up to two percent is the maximum. So we can conservatively say that uh, the probability of losing money is about two uh, percent.